Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, since I'm technically still continuing my Disney movie marathon, I figured I would review a live action film by the title of Flight of the Navigator. Oh yeah, here we go. But of course, as always, let's talk about the plot of this particular movie. So let's begin, shall we? Oh yeah. So yeah, for this particular movie, folks, it's pretty much about time traveling, so to speak. Yeah, time traveling. I never get sick of that. No, seriously, I don't mind time traveling type of movies. So I guess you can say Disney is throwing their hands at it, this kind of thing, which is fine. But anyway, we see this young boy who goes in with this robot, and they pretty much travel eight years into the future. So yeah, this 12-year-old boy who is abducted by this alien ship and finds himself caught in a ward that had changed around him because of this. He doesn't really recognize anything for that matter. Right in the beginning of the film, folks, we get to see on the night of July 4th, 1978, the main character, David, walks through the parks to pick up his younger brother from his friend's home when he accidentally fell into a particular place and is knocked unconscious. But when he comes to, he discovers that the year is 1986, where he hasn't aged at all. So his parents are now middle-aged, and his younger brother is now 18 years old. Meanwhile, the space, alien spaceship crashes through some power lines, and is promptly uh, captured by the NASA, so to speak. Our main character... David is taken into a hospital for tests and is sent for this research facility in NASA when his brain waves reveal some images of the spaceship itself. So of course this does create some concern. And yeah, that's the thing folks. Yeah, let's just say yeah he has to come adjusted to this new life of his so to speak. He has to go through these trials and whatnot. And yeah, his parents believed that he had disappeared one day to randomly out of nowhere just suddenly come in. This film did receive many positive reviews when he finally came out folks and uh, yeah a lot of people did seem to quite enjoy this film. Rotten Tomatoes rated a fresh rating of uh, 81% based on 27 reviews and yeah a lot of people did seem to praise this film folks but for me personally folks the thing is I didn't like this movie. I honestly did not like this movie at all. So yeah, I personally believe that a lot of people seem to enjoy this film just based on the fact that they've seen this film when the when they were much younger and enjoyed it then. So yeah, I thought this film was pretty much overrated if you ask me because I didn't like the story really for the story didn't make a whole lot of sense actually I want to get into details of sort of time traveling kind of thing with the ending but I don't want to spoil it for those who have not seen it, but again, I didn't care for it. I mean, some of the acting is okay, I guess, but the main character, he doesn't, he didn't really have any charisma towards him. I mean, I know it's not, it's not the kid's actor's fault. The kid actor here, he's only doing his job, I suppose. Yeah, that kid actor here, folks, he's still around, but not for a good reason, though. Yeah, he grew up, but let's just say... He's been having a lot of trouble in the position of life he's in right now, folks. So, I mean, too bad for him, I guess. He, he did come off like he did have a promising career, I guess. Like I said, I can't blame that actor all the way, really, folks. He was do only doing his job. It's just the material he was given that was really, really poorly done, folks. I mean, you can always look it up if you want to find more information about what he's doing now, I guess. But... Like I said, folks, I didn't like this film at all. I know plenty of people did, but as far as I'm concerned, I, this was not a good movie at all. And I would just skip this, folks. I thought this was, this was definitely a regrettable buy. I had this on DVD, oh boy. And yeah, it's been reported that in the month of May 2009, the Hollywood Reporter had stated that that Disney was ready to do an actual remake of this film. And yeah, they have a screenwriter writing the script and have some other people involved in it as well as the producers. So in November 2002, Disney Studios had hired 
another director for this film um, to do this kind of thing. Another screenwriter was done for this as well. Went through two different screenwriters, so but they have a permanent one now, folks. But I honestly do not care. I really, really do not care. I'm not gonna watch it. I don't like remakes anyway, so whatever, guess. I didn't even like this one. Yes, I know, I've said this in the past. Instead of remaking a good movie and ruin it, why not remake a bad movie and make it good? That would make more sense in my eyes. But still, folks, I don't think I care enough to actually watch it. Maybe it'll be good, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. But, like I said, generally speaking, I don't care for remakes anyway, but whatever, I guess. So yeah, I didn't like this one at all, folks. I know you got a reputation of being a classic, but it's not. One of the biggest problems I have with this film is, is the ending. Uh, yeah, one of the biggest gripes I have against this film is the damn ending. I'm not gonna give away any specific details because I don't want to ruin it for those who have not seen it. But can an ending make a movie worse? Yes, it can. It just came off asinine. Kind of reminds me of Mass Effect 3, where the characters will go through all this struggle and it will amount to nothing it meant nothing so going all this struggle this journey of theirs meant absolutely nothing the ma ending of mass effect 3 has been considered to be one of the absolute worst endings of all time in gaming history and rightfully so so yeah folks it kind of reminded me of that in some degree so yeah, I did not like the ending here, folks. I know some people might want to argue with me and say that, oh, it's the journey to the ending that's more important than the ending itself. That's just flat out stupid right off the bat, folks. The entire movie should be good. And we need to have a good payoff. And I felt that this film did not have a good payoff at all. He went through all this for what exactly? I don't know. So yeah, and the voice actor for this was actually Pee Wee Herman, and I thought that was pretty cool right there, I like that. He's a good actor in my honest opinion, folks. But, not even one good actor, or a few good actors, could not save this movie as a whole. I really didn't like this film, folks. I've seen this movie with the Amazing Maddie, so Amazing Maddie, thank you very much for watching this film with me. I highly appreciate the fact for watching this film with me. Um, yeah, he's probably gonna like this film a, a bit more than I did, I guess, maybe. But, as far as I'm concerned, I, this was a bad movie altogether. I mean, there's some cool scenes in here, folks. This could have been a good movie. The whole time-traveling aspect of the story did make it rather interesting, folks. But I felt that kids' parents were pretty dim-rated. Oh boy, the kids' parents were really, really dim-rated. They got act really stupid. And, yeah, stupid characters does not make this movie enjoyable at all, folks. Yeah, and I felt the characters in here were pretty one-dimensional. I mean, I understand they were trying to make the kid a full three-dimensional character, which is fine, folks. He has to adjust what has been going around him lately. I, you know, I get that. But just the movie as a whole, I didn't like, really, folks. Just didn't like the way that the story was constructed. The entire structure of the plot was probably executed as far as I'm concerned. I found this film to be pretty boring, really, folks. And I didn't like this at all. I mean, for those who liked it, I mean, more power to you, I guess, if you enjoy this film. But I personally didn't care for it at all. I honestly did not. This could have been a much better film It was if it were handled much better. In a lot of ways, folks, this was very kid-friendly. Oh, boy. It's very much just for kids. And I guess that's one of the problems I had with the film as well. It's just for kids, and that's about it. It didn't really bother to, to take any risks or anything. So yeah, it, it, felt, it felt like the, there was no real suspense in this particular movie, really. It just trying to make it as kid-friendly as kid-friendly possible. Trying to make it not too scary or anything. So yeah, that was just, come on now. Seems rather lazy. So yeah, it played too much on a family-friendly aspect of the story, way too much. Pretty much dumbing, da dumbing down the entire story. I mean, some of the effects were pretty good, I guess. But just the film as a whole it felt extremely flat, as far as I'm concerned, folks. It just felt pretty boring, as I mentioned a moment ago. Just really, really boring. But some of the acting was pretty okay, I guess, folks. But nothing that's worth 
an Oscar worthy, I guess. So yeah, overall, folks, I say skip this movie. And if you want to give it a shot anyway, be my guest. But personally, folks, I'm never going to watch this movie again. This is just a one-time watch. And that's about it. So as far as I'm concerned, this is just going to be one movie I'm going to watch one time and that's it. Oh yeah. Flight of the Navigator gets an overall rating of a 4.5 out of 10. It gets a 4.5 out of 10 for me, folks. Oh yeah. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. And take care. See you.